I figure for each peak cursed when it comes to sprockets. Alright, let's talk a little bit about non-tank designs in sprocket here. Because a lot of people actually made a whole bunch of really cool vehicles and I kind of want to go over them. You guys already saw the vehicle that I'm going to be showing in the la at last. Uh, but first, we're going to go into this tiny little armored car. And this is the BA6. And well, it looks cute. It's actually very, very cursed. Look, just look at the barrel. I am not sure if a barrel was supposed to be designed like that. I'm not sure what it's going to be firing. I thought maybe coconuts, but it actually like works completely. That's actually the cool part. There's no tracks, all well, no visible ones at least, and just drives around, does its thing, has a working cannon. And has a round turret as well, thanks to the, the big cupola on the top. Which also makes it look even more cursed. And yeah, it's just an armored car, really. But as I got a feeling you guys want to see the other builds as well, I'm not going to dwell into this one too long. It's an armored car made by Argor. Uh, you can find him in the official Discord server for uh, Sprocket. And uh, we're going to go over to some actually building equipment. And these ones are made by German Train. And uh, yeah, he does like his building equipment. For, for one, he uh, made this bulldozer. And what I want to know with this bulldozer is can I kill something by ramming it? So I'm just going to charge at this other bulldozer and see what happens. Hopefully, my engine will not die before them because I am over revving it. But let's see what happens. Okay, so I killed my own driver and commander, but nothing else happened. And for some reason, this copy of my belt is using a different paint job. Huh. Interesting. Well, that's not, it doesn't have a cannon, so I can't really shoot anything with it. So we're just going to move on over to the next one, which is... This boy right here. And this one does have a cannon actually. But I have no clue. Oh, there it is. Hello. Look at the big gun right there. It's literally just part of the build itself, pretty much. That looks so weird. Huh. I'm not even sure which way it's supposed to be shooting, but I can't even move. So let's uh, swap bolts and see if I can. Yes. Alright, at tab number two, let's see if we can ram something with this thing instead. So I have the long arm, can we ram to their arm or... Oh, the, the arms have no collision, that's underwhelming. Well, hey, at least I killed something, so I suppose that counts for something. And, uh... Let's go on to for the last uh, building vehicle. It's gonna be... This one, again, I can't move, so I'm just immediately gonna swap over to the other one. And it's it's the same build as last time, by the looks of it. But this one has these big wooden logs on it. And I'm honestly astonished on how they made these crane arms look so good. Like, they really are very good looking. But. This would actually be much more dangerous of a vehicle than you would think, because like at going at this speed with those huge logs is using them as a ram. I'd be scared, honestly. Like that is not something I want to run into. But as you guys probably want to go back to what I was showing off in the first part of the video, as just keep going. You have this little anti-air vehicle. That uh, sadly cannot shoot because it's technically a machine gun in the back, but I wouldn't really call this a tank. Would you guys call this a tank? Uh, comment down below if whether you guys think this is a tank or not. I personally think this is more of a truck than anything, but then just tracked instead of wheeled. And as obviously, it is a transport vehicle. But 
now we're going to go back into cursed stuff. Uh, we're going back to some stuff made by Argor. And he made the Blunder Monkey. And this thing absolutely tanks my frame rates. So you can see on the top left, I have 60 FPS. As soon as I turn on the lights, I drop down to 22 or below FPS. And when I turn it back off, I'm going back up to 60. So I'm going to keep this lights off. And uh, I'm going to take Monkey for a spin. He is on a very flat bed of a tank. Can't turn the turret around for make it turn around at all or anything like that. That would be even more worse if this was built on top of a turret. So that the turret would uh, rotate and the monkey would stare at you at all times. That will be something. Uh, I'm going to try and see if I can uh, get over here. And uh, do a jump with it. See what happens. It's not exactly the fastest, so it's going to take a little while. But it's definitely going to be interesting to see what happens if this thing jumps and uh, lands on its head. I really wish this thing was faster, to be honest. Look at how tiny that sprocket is. That's the sprocket. That is the idler. I don't know if Rod is actually doing curse as hell as well. Okay, we're gonna... Don't tell me I'm gonna get stuck on this, I guess. No, 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 no. Uh, okay, my engine died. We're not done, we're gonna try that again. So, that sadly didn't work out. Let's uh, just let's just move over to the next thing. And uh, let's go for one more art build before we go into the curse stuff. And, uh, yeah, this is... A very big gun. But I don't know, Chief. I think something's wrong with this one. This is, uh. Yeah, I don't know, Chief. Uh, let me just reload the blueprint a few times, see if that helps anything. It does not. So I'm just gonna uh, J out and go into the actual one. Can I aim this turret? I guess I cannot. I can. This aiming is just cursed as hell. There we go. Let's actually aim it down so we can actually shoot something because this thing doesn't exactly move. You can see here. So there we go. So the ones that actually don't know, this is like effectively the little brother of the Gusev railway cannon. This one is made actually practical. In such a way that the gun actually like small enough to fit on a single railway card, allowing it to actually be transported on normal rails without uh, or special rails having to be built specifically to aim the fucking gun, and that was a big deal because it allowed them to like make these little tunnels in France where they could drive these in and out of, because they cover and then they poke out and shoot straight up Britain whenever they felt like, and that was a very very underwhelming shot. Then again, we were loading AP, not APHE, but I'm not going to wait another minute for this build to uh, reload. So, let's go over to some gross stuff. First thing is going to be Stingray V1, and I have no clue what they uh, have done with this, but it's another one of those uh, weird barrels. And it's also spacing out as hell. I'm gonna have to uh, go up in the settings and make sure the audio is gonna be a bit more forgiving real quick. Okay, there we go. Because that would be ear raping for you guys extremely quickly. Okay, let's do that again. Let's get it properly. There we go. Proper space launch. And that noise is still painful. Okay, there we go. Lock the turret. It will not move anymore. And, uh, yeah, we, we are going on our trip. I'm not sure where we're going, but we're definitely going somewhere. And, uh, yeah. Ye this guy's fast. It's all, they're all there is to it. It is literally built to drop in between these parts right here and here. So, they're gonna yeet themselves. And I don't even like this, this rocket and wheels are there. They can't completely get rid of it, I suppose. 
Don't even, I'm not even sure how all of this like only takes a 1.33 internal space, and but I'll take it. So now on to the real curve design. I'm gonna have to multi-load this one because you can see the total mass is changing every single time. And now it's finally making up its mind, and now it's only 5.57 tons. This is a F-35 fighter jet in Sprocket. Don't ask me how that it is, but we're just gonna lift off. Hang on, I have no clue how they did this, but did it, they did. There's a bunch of invisible walls around here, which are really weird. And for some reason, all my stuff is purple. I'm also not sure what that's all about. Like, my my driver and like all everything is purple. I'm kind of just floating in midair right now. I'm not moving. Like, have I turned on the anti-gravity or something? Now, I'm really not sure like, why I'm just floating in midair. But I can just basically go wherever I want. And just vibe with it. Pretty much. And, uh, yeah, this one is actually made by Romelia. And, uh, I think they're a Chinese or Japanese user. They didn't talk too much in the Sparkle Discord, but I sent some videos of this and I asked them. And they just sent the, the blueprint in there, so if you guys want to download that one, make sure you check the Sprocket official Discord server. And uh, go look for Amelia's send messages. And then you should be able to find a download for this one. It is definitely one of the most broken builds I've seen in the game so far. And uh, also this is one of the most impressive builds. Like, look how far up we are. I can't even see the platform anymore. <laughs> And, uh, you can still, like, uh, when you go right here, I can still, like, actually see the plane. That's the, the weirdest part. You can still, like, shoot and just have it, the plane go wherever you want it to go. But my mouse is, I think, inverted. Because I think I'm, yeah, I'm upside down. Doesn't surprise me, to be honest. There we go. That's better. It's gonna be flickering because of the, the sight, which is actually, like, uh, right there. You can see it. Spinning on the back. The turret spins very fast, but you should see that the little thing floating around. That's actually a gunner's sight. And uh, you can use it to create this effect when flying, but it's always flickering, which is a big problem with this side. I really hope that the, the developers will fix that sometime. Yeah, I think we've reached what I would call the altitude limit here. Uh, oh, there's, there's the, the platform. I can see it now. I'm not, I'm no longer at the highest spot, apparently. Let's see if I can pull it a little bit higher so we're no longer in range. Oh, there we go. You can see it disappeared. It's, yep, there it goes. It's, it's gone. We're too far up high. And we literally went out of render distance from the starting platform. That's how far up we are. So, yeah, I think that is the limit on how far I'm going to fly this vehicle. God, it's an absolutely astonishing build. Just look at those plates. Just made up the entire build. I think that, yeah, right here, you can see that's the hull. The bottom here. And I think right here, where, like, the, yeah, that, that little piece there, that's the turret. And the rest of it is this hull. And, of course, I also removed the tracks of the build. And instead, gave these really big wheels, kind of some landing gear. There's the, there's the sprocket wheel. And I actually, no, I can't even like, use it. Oh, we're falling back down, actually. Hello. Let's see what happens if I just let it crash. That should be a good ending for this video. And uh, touchdown. Huh. I actually died from it. Okay. Now there's only one more thing to do. Crash the other two. Can I crash it? Yes. Okay, there we go. And I didn't even kill it. Uh, okay, I think I made a new Excalibur. Alright, that, that's the thing I'm, I'm going to call it now. That is the end of the video. I would love to see you guys plant more Excaliburs into the ground like this. 
And uh, yeah, if you guys enjoyed it, it was definitely very interesting to look at these non-tank builds made in a tank building simulator. So yeah, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed. See you guys all in the next one.